What is the ideal amount of alcohol that you should drink per week? First, let's understand what alcohol does to our body. Alcohol is a neurotoxin. Think of it as a poison with a fancy label. Your body takes about 7 to 10 days to flush it out. That's right. One Friday night drink sticks around till next Friday. Some alcohol skips the line straight into your bloodstream, especially on an empty stomach. The rest makes a pit stop in your liver, which converts ethanol into acetaldehyde. Fun fact, acetaldehyde is even more poisonous. It's what makes you tipsy. The liver finally turns it into a fuel, acetate, but your liver can only handle one drink per hour. Anything faster, the leftover poison floods your bloodstream penetrates the blood-brain barrier, move towards the muscles and lungs, which is how the breathalyzer is detected, and all organs. In the brain, a hormone called GABA gets suppressed, which is the don't embarrass yourself hormone. And suddenly, dancing on tables feels like a great idea. In the stomach, alcohol acts like a sanitizer, killing good bacteria and sometimes dragging bad ones out too. The result the not-so-fun post-drink diarrhea. Long-term, alcohol is a group 1 carcinogen, the highest risk level. It mutates DNA, fuels tumors, shrinks your brain, and disrupts protein synthesis, and damages collagen, and ages you too. Puffy face, dark circles, say hello to wine o'clock. On the positive side, alcohol gives you a short-lived dopamine hit, which is addictive. But in the long term, it acts like a depressant. Still think red wine's healthy? The resveratrol hype is like chasing a needle in a barrel of ethanol. So how many glasses per week? Zero. Skip the poison and your future self will thank you. Cheers with water.